Good morning. I'm Jennifer Gerson with the Pinecrest Business Association, and I am here today with Mitch Panter from Panter Panter in San Pedro. Good morning. And good morning, Mitch. We are here this morning to recognize our trustee members and give them some time where we can talk back and forth and learn more about them <clears throat> and their involvement with the PBA and their involvement in the community. And we all know that Mitch is very involved in both. But let's start off with Mitch. Like, what's going on with new cases? Like, what kind of cases are 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 coming up these days? Auto slip and fall, liability, a little bit of each. A, a, a little bit of each. You know, we saw as we started off with the pandemic that there really wasn't a whole lot going on. There weren't people driving. There wasn't uh, people going to the malls. Um, the medical malpractice cases slowed down because the elective surgery wasn't uh, happening. Um, slowly but surely, we're, we're seeing the, the system pick up. We're seeing some additional cases coming in, some, some different things that are happening. Um, we looked at for a while the corona cases and all that that entails, and uh, the law is really in flux about that, whether you're going to be able to pursue a case for corona infections, uh -huh. whether it be at a, a nursing home or a, or a restaurant or what have you. Um, we're continuing with the cases that we've got. We're working through them. I was saying that just this morning we had a Zoom hearing, so most of our hearings, depositions, uh, client meetings, contacts, things of that nature are occurring Zoom. Um, we do have an occasional client that is unable to um, use computer systems, not familiar with it, doesn't have it, and so they come into the office. But for the most part, um, everything is, is happening virtually. Um, our staff is, some is in, some is out. We've uh, got accustomed to working on the computers um, virtually, so we've got that. Um, we're, we're making do, we're doing what we're doing. We're continuing with our advertising, we're continuing with our representation of clients, um, moving the cases forward, and fortunately, we're, we're hanging in there. That's fantastic. So tell me, how, when, and why did you get involved with the Pinecrest Business Association? So years ago, Grant came to us, and, and uh, Grant Miller from this great, great uh, community newspaper service here, and, and decided that what we wanted to do was something a little bit different than your average networking group. Um, we wanted to come up with a business uh, association that, that did more than just give business to people. And, and we came up with a, a great game plan, and the game plan was a threefold group. The group was going to do community service, the group was going to do uh, involvement with the village of Pinecrest, and of course, networking. Uh, and so we didn't want any one of those three features to be predominant, we wanted them all to be. So we, we came up with um, the Pinecrest Business Association, which since has merged into the Palmetto Bay Business Association and Cutler Bay Business Association and a whole group of other business associations. Um, we're developing relationships with people. Uh, we've come up with more than a quarter of a million dollars for our community. We've helped uh, with a uh, campaign to get computers into schools. We've helped with the landscaping with the schools. We've helped with uh, bringing businesses uh, involved in our community. We We've helped out local restaurants that had issues with the village and mm -hmm. seating. So we're doing what we can to, to help the community. Uh, plus, uh, you know, an, an equ equally important aspect is to, to have businesses work with other businesses. So with our directory, now online directory, um, pinecrestbusiness.com, you can check us out. We encourage people, whether you're people um, in the group or out of the group or within or around the village of Pinecrest, to go online and to find a, a business within the village and that's part of our membership um, and use them, whether it's a restaurant, an electrician, a plumber, an accountant, um, uh, you know, the credit union, whatever it might be, we want people to think local, buy local, use local. And that's as, what we've been doing. as Chad was saying earlier this morning, Chad Milam, you know, local helping local and local buying from local. It, it's important more than ever yes. to to support your local businesses. And it's easier now because you can just go online and and you know our last business association meeting, the virtual meeting, um, we had the barbecue, um, and it was and it was wonderful. They came and they brought to us. Yes. Um, and uh, um, and next week we have healthy gourmet scheduled for our go. box lunch. So right. Everybody so can those are great again. things where we can use and and we encourage. If you're out there and you're part of our membership, I encourage you to contact Jen and to contact all of us and tell us what you're doing. Tell us what we can do to help you. Our goal has always been uh, through the Pinecrest Business Association, which 
equally with the Panter, Panter and San Pedro law firm. Um, we want to help the community. We, we firmly, strongly, honestly believe that by helping the community survive this pandemic um, and before and even after this is long gone. Um, if we develop relationships, if we work with the community, if we help each other, uh, it'll work out great and we'll do the best we can to help uh, each other. It's true. And, you know, it, it, let's dig in a little bit deeper into the benefit of the relationships in the working world. So people, uh, you know, I, I have two young children, and they're they're not that young now, but they're they're lawyers are developing their relationships. And, they're lawyers. And they're not. No, young. they're not the young anymore. <laughs> but but my older son was telling me he went to Duke for for college, um, and he's telling me that um, he became part of a Duke investment group. And I've tried to instill in them and educate them and tell them, you know, it's really important to know people because people want to do business with people they know, um, people you trust, people that you have a relationship with. Uh, throughout the Pinecrest Business Association, there's been people that have come and gone in the group because they didn't get that immediate satisfaction. Yes. But I can tell you, for instance, Marvin Stein, my accountant, uh, for years we had another accountant and I didn't use Marvin. Um, lo and behold, that accountant went out of business and I use Marvin now. Uh, through with the, our printing companies, we've used people that are part of the printing company. So you develop the relationships with people, you develop the, uh, the, the knowledge of their ability, their skills, what they do, um, and you know who they are as a person and that really is, is really important. So how has the law firm had to pivot to handle the COVID situation? Well, first and foremost, obviously, we're not having clients come into the office and we're not doing the kind of things that we used to do with, where it was hands on client comes in and answers discovery, which is questions and producing documents. We're doing that all virtually, um, but we're still talking to clients, meeting with clients, preparing clients, taking depositions. Um, we're still taking the same kind of cases that we've taken in the past. We do products liability, premise liability, slip and falls, autos, medical malpractice, bad pharmaceutical drugs, things of that nature. So our, our plan has still remained the same. We still want to be a, a, they use the word boutique, but we're not a, a firm that just takes any kind of case and deals with it. Um, we, we do a little bit of investigation before the case uh, gets started. So we like to talk to the client. We like to make sure that we're not wasting anybody's time, that we're taking a legitimate case, doing legitimate services for people. And we, we really have, have stayed true to that. Um, you know, it, it, years ago when we first started uh, our firm and we started with advertising, we had um, our grandfather at the time, Grandpa Ira, and we were doing nursing home cases, um, and we came up with the logo, Let Our Family Help You and Your Family, and that's still our logo. Um, our goal, much like Milam's that was here a little while ago, it's a family-run business. Uh, David San Pedro became a partner probably 20 years ago, and he's part of our family. Josh Wintle became a partner, and he's part of our family. Our staff has been with us. Sarah's been with us for more than 25 years, um, and we like to keep um, the staff, this, the, the people that we work with and work for, close at heart so we feel like we're doing something good. Um, we just settled uh, several cases with a minor child. One of the things that when you have a child, it's important to make sure that any settlement funds that are for that child are not squandered or wasted or taken. So we set up guardianships. We set up a structured settlement. Uh, you know, we have a, a seven-figure case that we just resolved, and, and we set it up so that this child who's now eight years old is going to be getting money well into her age of 40. So she, we set up a, a college fund. So throughout her, her years in college, she's going to be getting X dollars per month. Uh, then at age 21, she gets a big lump sum. At age 25, at age 30, and at age 35. So we've protected the, the, the recovery for the child. We've protected her from outside sources that might use that money. Um, we've, we've been able to help that child um, be good and set financially in the future. And that's a really good feeling. It's, of you know, course. We know we've done well. Of course. Of course. You don't just leave it at the settlement. You, you, you take and, it and much And that's farther. important. And, it's, and, you know, so many, <clears throat> so many law firms and lawyers don't really – spend the extra time, effort, and energy caring for their client um, and, and making sure that the client is taken care of. Um, you have certain people that are financially and, and fiscally smart or, or knowledgeable or know how to handle it. And then you get people that you know don't necessarily know how to handle their resources or their finances. Um, lo and behold, somebody who, who doesn't have a great deal of financial prowess gets $100,000, $200,000. They can go through that quickly. But if they work with the lawyer and they work with the, the, the representative 
representatives that we've got and the experts that we've got, we can preserve that fund for them. We can make sure they don't lose any other benefits that are available to them. We feel a special need um, to help our clients and to help the community. And that's what we at Panther Panther and San Pedro have done. And that's one of the things that we're all about. We want to make sure that we continue with that pandemic or not. No, it speaks volumes to your integrity. Um, how do you think, speaking of integrity, um, and how, how do you think that your, your work ethic and, and has translated into your community involvement and, and affected your personal and professional life? I, I got to go back again to, to my children and how we're raising them and what we're, we're, we're teaching them. And, and I think that everybody has a duty to, to raise their children in a, in a method and manner so that they learn because that's the future. Um, you know, we're all here for the time being, but the next generation is going to come in and they're going to take over the law firms and yep. the banks and the industries and the, the media. And, and it's really important for them to see that there are good people out there doing good deeds. Um, you know, there are bad people that do bad things, whether it be in the police force, whether it be in the legal field, whether it be in the medical field, there are good people and there are people that are not so good. But if you can stand out as being somebody good and doing something good for uh, humanity, um, it, it's a wonderful thing. So we, we spend our time uh, doing community service. We spend our resources helping. Um, I frequently get called on for, for donations for good causes. And as much as you know, we'd like to give everybody, um, we, we limit that. Uh, but we do. I, I was just called, uh, a, a gentleman uh, called me from a, a local school uh, that said he's trying to raise money to send a group of kids to Washington, D.C., hopefully when the pandemic mellows out a little bit um, and they needed some resources, so we're able to help them. Uh, we give scholarships frequently we, through the Pinecrest Business Association, through the South Miami Kendall Bar, uh, through our own law firm. So um, give back, um, you know, but, but talk to people. Uh, be nice to people. We, we are a little different than your average big firm that just spits them in and spits them out and doesn't really care about their clients. Each client speaks to me. Each client speaks to Brett, speaks to David, speaks to Josh, speaks to Al. Um, we have a staff and, and, the, and the clients speak to the staff, but it's important for a client to understand and to know when they have a question, when they have a need, they can call and speak to Mitchell Panther from Panther Panther and San Pedro, or David San Pedro from Panther Panther and San Pedro. Um, communication is one of the most important aspects of the legal field. Usually you're getting people that are in a, a tough situation that don't really know what's going on. They're not familiar with the legal system, and they just want to be told what's going on. They just want to be communicated with. Uh, Florida Bar reports that the biggest problem with lawyers and clients when clients call up for complaints is a lack of communication. So whether it be by email, which nowadays is so easy, or text, or, or phone calls, or, or, or meetings, um, talk to people. Uh, you know, we had a client come in yesterday, and I, I'm sorry, but there was no car insurance available, so I couldn't help him. We're still able to get him to a doctor, to get him to have treatment, and to have the insurance company responsible pay for that. But there was nothing above and beyond that. And rather string them along and keep them going for six months to only tell them, sorry, there's no case. We, we do the research at the beginning. We find out at the beginning, this is what the case is. This is what we can do for you. This is what we're going to do for you. Uh, and talk to them and communicate with them. So integrity is, is, is communication. They're, they're so, so key in, in your industry as well, um, yep. in the banking industry, in the credit union industry. Tell people, hey, this is the rates we can give you. This is the benefits that we can provide to you. If you have a bigger account, you can get bigger, better resources. If you have a smaller account, we can still assist you. So we, we do our best to, to be honest, to be straight, um, and tell people what's going on so we can provide service to them. Right. I, you know, I truly believe that communication and transparency are key to success. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, you know, how we pivot and, and, and change our messaging, you know, throughout the times is important because I, it, people need to trust us. People need it's to believe us. It's even more important us. now. Of course, more than ever. A everybody's in flux. And, you know, there's so, mu there's so much misinformation, false information. Um, you know, with the corona test, we had a, a circumstance where, where, where people just don't understand what the test results mean. There's so many different types of tests out there and so many results that come back, and, and, and it's not really clear. Um, you get false information. You get wrong information. And, and we, as, as a people, are looking for truth, for honesty, for transparency. We're not getting it from More our government. More than ever. And, and we're not getting it from our government. We're not getting it from our 
our, our, our places that we used to. And, and if, if we, if you and me and, and those others that, you know, that are involved can, can put on shows like this through the community newspaper and, and educate people and teach them and show them what a great uh, you know, system we do have here, transparency, honesty, straightforwardness, uh, if we can do that, then we're doing good. I mean, I applaud the community newspaper Absolutely. For, for, Grant, for showing this Grant for and Michael have, have really given us a platform where we can talk to people, and, and we're so grateful for that. So thank you, gentlemen. Um, and speaking of our messaging, and I know your messaging has probably changed over the years in your advertising. How have you had to change it throughout the pandemic? Well, I, I, I'm going to correct you. It hasn't changed. Um, as I said before, we, we started with Let Our Family Help You and Your Family, and we still do that. Uh, we started as a as a smaller firm handling you know a certain number of cases and only that um, we started as a firm that that develops our cases one by one communication with the client one by one hiring the experts that are necessary the doctors that are necessary the uh, whatever is necessary to handle each case we we work on it case by case one by one um, we don't have a call center we don't have a case management system we have lawyers and staff that work on clients cases one by one when the clients call they get a call back when the clients send an email they get a call back um, whatever communication is needed we continue to do that um, as as times have changed and cases have changed we've we've developed um, we're, we're handling cruise ship cases we're handling Zantac cases if there's a new system of, of law um, we're following that um, a new uh, a new type of law an area of law we're following that we're all learning now as lawyers we're all learning now how to handle the zoom hearings the zoom depositions um, we're, we're attending and I'm, I'm frequently on webinars uh, learning about what's going on are there jury trials are there not jury trials is it going to be a zoom trial uh, is a jury going to actually come and participate in a trial um, how is our system changing so we're following that we're looking for that we're seeing what uh, what is important and what is necessary and we're doing our best to try to ad advise um, I know we have a a network, the Panther, Panther, and San Pedro network. We've got more than 150 lawyers uh, in Miami-Dade and probably about 50 to 75 in Broward. And as I get this information, we're disseminating it. We're trying to tell people. Um, through our website, we're also telling people, hey, here's some educational information. We're not one of those in-your-face money, money, money law firms when we advertise. Our advertising is more community service, education, and, and more, more so now than ever before because now people need the information. They don't care. Uh, maybe they do care. I got big money for my case and the yelling and the screaming that the lawyers do um, or, or bad-mouthing other lawyers as you see advertising. Our advertisement has always been and will continue to be community service and to show what we do for people, to show how we represent people. And we're not going to change that. Um, you know, we don't need to push and we don't need to rant. Uh, our job is to, um, to work hard, to represent our clients, to do the best we can, and to help you. So even if you don't have a case, I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to tell you you don't have a case and this is why you don't have a case or you do have a case. Or if, if your case involves immigration or criminal law or real estate, through our network, we're going to get you to the sources. We're going to get you to the lawyer that can assist you. If you need a, a bank, a credit union, I'm going to say, hey, call Jen. This is who, who it is. If you need to advertise, if you need to be in the, in the community newspapers, I'm going to say, call Michael, call Grant. Um, this is who it is. So again, back to relationships, back to networking, uh, back to communications. And that's what we do. And we're going to continue to do that into the foreseeable future. Yeah, and it's about supporting our local businesses and, and trying to figure out how we, we keep it close to home. Correct. Um, I, I see, you know, Michael brought over notes, support community, local businesses, and, and that's so important. Um, you know, we really push that day in and day out. So go to Trattoria Luna. Hey, Daniel out there. I hope all is well. Um, whatever the restaurant, the Pizza pizza New York, Brooklyn Pizza, a Brooklyn Pizza. Um, early on in the pandemic, we, we went to Brooklyn Pizza. We ordered with them uh, hundreds, of, and I mean hundreds of pizzas we sent to the, to sent the, to police, the police department. department right? Police department, to, to the hospital, uh, doctor, to Dr. Duarte over over at uh, Miami Children's with the, with the, with the dermatology, um, wherever we could, uh, and, and we continue to do that. Um, you know, if you can use local businesses, use them. They need it. Um, you know, whether you're going over to Joanna's for lunchtime, whether you're getting uh, uh, lots of locks or roasters or, or, or any, you know, any services you can use, anybody that you can use locally. Go on to Community Newspaper um, on their website. You'll see tons of local people um, and, and, and use the local 
local people, use local businesses, support local businesses for all of your needs. It's really important now more than ever. It's funny you said Joanna's. I've been building my salad in my head as I've been sitting here all morning. <laughs> Not on Mondays. They're closed, and... they're closed on Mondays, but every oh, other but day. Oh, but today's Thursday. We're exactly. good. We're good exactly. today. Yeah. No, I, I'm tasting it already. Exactly. Um, and at, that we're, as we're talking about community, what advice, because you're so involved in the community, what advice would you give local businesses that want to get more involved or, or want to even start getting involved in the community? So call Michael, call Grant, come on, come on the air. Um, tell them what you're doing, how you're doing them. Call Jen at the PBA, go on to Pinecrest Business Association, um, talk to other businesses. There are so many different business associations and groups. And, and, and we as a group, the Pinecrest Business Association, are doing our best to try to help the local businesses and to help our members. Um, but you gotta ask. You got to get out there and you got to ask us. Um, so call us and tell us, hey, I want to put my, my, my business out there. This is what the special we're having today. This is the group that we're doing today. Um, small businesses can advertise through Miller publications in, in a variety of, of manners, whether it be online or whether it be in the newspaper that still comes out. We love the newspaper. It's great. I know there's all kinds of special rates that they give you. Um, get involved. Join the Pinecrest Business Association. Join Palmetto Bay Business Association. Um, join the Chamber of Commerce. Um, now, more than ever, you're going to need to get exposure. You're going to need to know people, uh, let people know that you're still open, that you're still working. Have specials. Uh, Milam's was here a few minutes ago and we told them why don't you participate with us and give us a, a raffle prize. Right. So if you listen to our next meeting on the Pinecrest Business Association next Tuesday, um, you have an opportunity to win a gift certificate from Milam's. Um, banks are offering special rates. Local you know, community uh, involvement uh, activities are out there, but you got to look for it. You got to help yourself um, develop your own reputation, develop your own meetings. Make a plan. You got time now. Everybody's got a lot of free time now. Call different businesses that you know that you've worked with um, or you haven't. Introduce yourself. And, and you know, if you need uh, business supplies, if you need banking assistance, if you, you know, whatever your needs are, look locally. Go buy the restaurants that, that you've driven by for years and years and, and go and order S dinner. Stop in, in and try them. It's true. And, and, you know, not only do you need to advertise locally, like with the community newspapers, or join, you know, the business association group. Groups, you've got to get involved and you have to have a voice for yourself and you need to you need to put yourself out there to order to get back from, from you got to give to get you to give to get yeah yes. no, no doubt about it. and but then it also goes to a favorite saying I have if you don't ask you don't get so you know if you ask somebody for help they'll give you help and if they don't move on to the next person um, but you got to be out there and you got to you know you always got to give to get there's no doubt about that and and you got to ask to to receive as well absolutely your heat buddies are always out there watching us section 112 there you go yeah we we, uh, we miss the heat uh, you know we, we miss the heat it's been such a shame that we haven't had an opportunity but uh, go but we've heat. enjoyed i mean it was a wonderful game series six of the finals it was a fantastic series uh, you know, and they were a, great games to watch great games so to exciting. watch it was it was a lot of fun it was it was a tough weekend between between the you know the i'm a cane fan it's all about the u um so it was tough watching them i guess the gators had a little problem as well well the gators have more of a problem Far this weekend <laughs> everybody does <laughs> but the dolphins the dolphins did good so it's good to have sports back it um, is. We, we enjoy that we've been we've been enjoying our, our our sports to the extent that we can um you know we've been doing what we can to 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 keep life as normal i guess you can say as possible uh but you still can't let your guard down i think we've Absolutely all seen not. with the waves coming up and in, 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 in up north and and we need to still wear the mask we still need to be careful we still need to to watch what we're doing and and pay attention and be mindful and, and understand that this is a pandemic it is a a serious situation that needs to be taken seriously um vote Biggest thing, guys, vote. Get out there and vote. I don't care who you vote for. Well, I do, but that's not the point. Um, get out and vote. It's really important. We stand in line, do what you need to do. Um, I posted yesterday on my social media, my Facebook. I, I sent, I mailed it in. When you mail in your ballot, you can go back online and, and you can it, and track right? it. And I did, and, and it said my vote counted. So I was thrilled to see that. So get out there and vote. It's really important. It absolutely is. Um, do you have any community events coming up in the near future? 
Sure. I'm trying to think. I know. I know. Yes, we do. Thank you for telling me. Yes. Um, with to get well, there's two different things, and it and it's it's the Pinecrest Jazz Festival. Um, there's a. It's going to be a virtual. I think it starts. It's Pinecrest Jazz maybe dot org. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, but through the Village of Pinecrest, mm -hmm. we are one of the major sponsors of a jazz concert series. I, I and it's a really we're really excited about that. That's a really good one. Um, it will enable us to go online, and I think it's ten dollars. Um, and you can, I think Nestor Torres actually is this first week. Oh, wow. um, and there's a series of eight of them. Um, and then also through the village of Pinecrest, there's going to be a Halloween treat. Uh, so at, at Evelyn Greer Park, um, I think the way they're going to do it this year is we're going to set up and other vendors, uh, attorneys and law firms and, and different people, businesses in our community are going to set up a tent. I don't know if you're- Yeah, we've, uh, the credit union, MPS Credit Union has okay. done it many years. So we set up a tent and I think this year what's going to happen Happen is we'll be there with our masks on and the cars will drive around and and we got a little bag of goodies that we'll give to, and put it in the trunk or the seat or whatever so it's it might a be. trunk or treat um, exactly so check pine crest the village of pine crest and i believe it's it's a friday night halloween is saturday night yes. this year yes. so i think it's friday night the 30th but but check to go to village of pine crest um or Pinecrest Business Association um, and, and look and see. Um, and then again, the, the Village uh, of Pinecrest is doing the Jazz Festival. So uh, Google Village of P Pinecrest for the Jazz Festival. Panther Panther and Some Pedro is a proud sponsor of that. We're really looking forward to that. So whenever there are events or activities in the community that um, that, that we can participate in, um, we do our best to do so. And you do. now more you than ever. You are very involved in the community. So one more work question before we wrap things up. What advice would you give to somebody that is looking for an attorney? Call, talk. Um, if you if you get a service, if you get a, a representative, if you get anybody but the lawyer on the phone, um, why? Uh, th my time is not that valuable that I can't sit and speak to somebody, and, and it shouldn't be at any firm you get to. Some of these firms get so big and they get so spread out that they there's no personalization. Um, at Panther Panther and San Pedro, I've said this a million times, and I really mean it. You call and speak to Mitch, speak to David, speak to Brett, speak to Al, speak to Josh. Um, you have the right to speak with your lawyer. There's a document that's signed. It's called the client contract. Um, and, and that contract says that you have the right as a client to speak to your attorney. Um, and, and the attorneys should understand that. I'm not that important. I'm not that busy that I can't speak to my client. Now, I might not call you back right now. I might call you back in 10 minutes or tomorrow or whatever it might be, but communication is important. So you also want to know whether your lawyer is what's called board certified. Doctors, lawyers, and other professionals have um, a, a title. It's called board certified. And what that means is that the lawyer, in our particular case, has taken extra classes, has taken extra credits, has done a certain number of trials, and they've attained a board certification. I've been board certified for more than 20 years, and that means that I've tried more than 50 cases. I've been able to um, pursue a lot of different uh, avenues of research, and, and, and I've taken an extra test, um, and I go through a, every five year a process to become board certified. Uh, myself, Brett, and David are all board certified. Is your lawyer board certified? Um, who's going to be handling the case? Is it going to be a case manager or is it going to be the lawyer? Who's going to be the one communicating with you? Uh, will you get notice of, of your case and what's going on? Nowadays, it's so much easier. We just got a new uh, computer system that enables us to text our clients. We've been told that all the, uh, the younger folks like text more than anything else, so we're getting used to that. So we're able to talk to clients virtually immediately. So if I'm sending out an email about a client's case, um, I can send the client a copy of it. Uh, there are systems now where clients can come on and look at their file whenever is necessary themselves and have access to it. You want to know that your attorney is going to be working for you. Now, keep in mind, today's day and age, it's a little bit difficult. There's not a lot going on um, in the court system. It's hard moving cases along. Jury trials are not where, where they were eight months ago, so it's you know, taking a long time to get through the process. But cases still can move. You still can speak to a lawyer. And the lawyer should speak to you. Um, that's the biggest thing. You know, we keep harping back to communications. Um, call and speak. And, you know, if they tell you there's no lawyer to be spoken to, I, I don't get that. You know, I call many law firms, and I get it that people are working at home these days. But we should be advanced enough now so that if the phone call comes in, it automatically gets transferred to the home phone. And if that's where you're working from. Um, you need to be able to communicate, and you need to be, you know, in a time of need, you need to be able to speak to somebody 
in, in, a, in a plain English language, not legalese, not lawyer mm -hmm. language, mm -hmm. but this is what the facts are of your case. This is what we can do for you, can't do for you. Um, board certification, again, is, is kind of important. Have they been in the community? Are they in the community? Are there other resources and references that you can use? And, um, you know, talk. That's all. Absolutely. Well, you know, on behalf of the Pinecrest Business Association, we thank you for your continued support and for being yeah, a trustee member. We are we're proud to have you as a trustee member and, you know, for your continued advice and support and participation, you are an amazing asset to the PBA. And I know I speak for everybody when I say that. So thank you. And let me give you let me give you a hand. So so Jen has been with the Pine Coast Business Association for a bunch of years now and we brought her along to get to this leadership role and you've you've jumped into the leadership role beautifully. You've developed it great. Um, you've carried us through a really, really difficult time. Our group's still flourishing we at are. our at our last virtual meeting we had 80 people, yep. the one before 60 people. I mean, you know, the numbers that we have for our virtual meetings are astounding. Um, incredible. We still work for our community. Our group still pushes forward. Milam's was here before. We've developed more and more um, sponsors and, and groups and uh, trustees. Um, years ago, we didn't have a whole lot. Now we got a bunch. Yes. Um, I, I commend our board. I commend Marvin Stein, who's done a great job as our accountant for, for forever and ever um, and and those people that have been in our group and continue to serve our group the Pinecrest Business Association continues to thrive um, community newspaper Grant Miller and Michael Miller continue to support our group um, we've done a great job I, again if you're a member out there call us reach out to us let us know what we can do for you um, you know that's part of our business that's part of what we want to do we want to help you so go on to pinecrestbusiness.com Look and see what, what's being done and what we can do for you. Let us help you. Like, you know, our logo, Panther, Panther, and some Pedro. Let our family help you and your family. And it's the same with the Pinecrest Business Association. Yeah, and I'm very proud to lead this group. But, you know, we have an amazing board of directors and an amazing group of people that, you know, make everything happen behind the scenes. So, you know, shout out to all of our board members. Thank you again Thank for you. joining us today. In the comments, there are some... Uh, oh, good. Uh, information the about the events Thank that you. Mitch was talking about. Perfect. So if you're interested, click on those comments and, and join. make sure you join those events. Thank you, and uh, Thank I'll you. see you again on Tuesday at the luncheon. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, everybody. Guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.